That's the vibe. Shit yep. on niggas. Yep. Shit on everybody. Yep. All races, not just white and black. All races. Right. Mexicans, Asians, they all shit on each other. Nothing has ever happened to a rapper, entertainer ever under J. Prince's exactly. care. Exactly. A boxer, none of that shit. Nobody exactly. ever got jumped, robbed, shot, none of that shit. Killed, none of that shit up under the old man. Old oh, man. You yes. know what I mean? Speaking up under him, up under man. his. Give a little context to what senior, like who he is, who he was and who he is to you, his character. I know, um, I know he's a renaissance man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a, like a man, a, a jack of all trades, man. You know what I mean? Um, a very smart, intelligent, you know what I mean? A religious guy, God-fearing guy, go to church every Sunday. Um, just a, a, a real, I, he was the richest black man I ever met period, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, straight up. And he handled his business that way. Made sure everybody in the, in the, from the family to everybody that worked the rap a lot was treated as family. You know, it wasn't like you was a worker. You, you was one of the princes, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You was up under the family. They treat you as such. I had a situation where I got locked up on, on a promo tour, you know, $150,000 bail. That shit was paid within 30 minutes. I was bailed out quick. Whatever it took for me to get processed, I was right out that motherfucker on a Sunday. So, mm. yeah, Jay ain't having it, man, period. He ain't gonna leave his artist just sitting up mm -hmm. the ride. He gonna bail you out of jail, make sure your lawyer shit is right, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And make sure you can continue doing your rap shit in your career, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, it was more family over there, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I considered him as like a, a godfather, you know what I mean? Right. A stepdad or something like that. And the best business advice he gave me, and this is when I, um, uh, uh, when I was, uh, offered a joint venture deal after I made this decision. You know, I'm complaining about my album budget and I'm like, yo, I need the new budget for this album. You know what I mean? Plus I got the independent thing. I need a budget for that too. Woo, 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 woo. And he like, bro, he said, I could give you fish. You know what I mean? I could give you whatever you want right now. I could give you fish or do you want me to teach you how to fish? Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Teach me how to fish. He said, cool, boom. Put that deal to the side. Ah, we 50-50. Mm -hmm. This is how you fish, mm -hmm. you know? And then I came out with, you know, my United Ghettos and all right, that through Rap right, a Lot, Thug right. Lords and whatnot, but that was teaching me how to fish. He right. gave me that opportunity, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I took it, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, what I'm gonna say, nigga, this is a legendary record label that also signed, you know, the first West Coast artist from my neighborhood. Seagram. Seagram. Yeah, rest Miller. in peace Seagram. Seagram Miller, rest yep. in peace. Mm -hmm. So he's from my neighborhood. This is the first West Coast artist signed to Rap a Lot. So my whole neighborhood is Rap a Lot at the fuck out mm -hmm. to where we had crews. Smoke a lot crew and a drink a lot crew. Did Drink the smoke a lot. a lot come from from the rap a lot deal from 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 learning how to fish the name? Nah, I, I was smoke a lot before that. I was smoke a lot doing the loonies. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, he said that. Like you mm -hmm. smoke a lot, you need to be at rap a lot. Nothing has ever happened to a rapper, entertainer ever up under Jay Prince's exactly. care. Exactly. A boxer, none of that shit. Nobody exactly. ever got jumped, robbed, shot. None of that shit. Killed. Mm -hmm. None of that shit up under the old man. Old man. Yes. You know what I mean? Speaking up under of him. Up under man. his wing. Yeah. Yeah. Now. The old man is the old man. Right. Mob ties is the kids. Exactly. That's they shit. Something separate. You know what yes. I mean? Something totally yes. separate. Yes. So what the kids do, I don't think it's right that they blame, not even the kids, one child, yeah. because Jazz wasn't even there. You can't right. blame Jazz neither, because right. he wasn't present. Right. So one child had some you know, uh, yeah. altercation or whatever mm -hmm. that went bad. Mm -hmm. That You can't blame that on, on old Jay. Man. Or yeah. jazz. That's exactly. not fair, bro. It's they not. wasn't there. And, and another thing. Just I because wanna... you say they, right. they mob ties. Oh, yeah. they mob ties. <laughs> so that's how they move. That's how yeah. they move. Oh, yeah. in that case, then what? Drake mob ties? Exactly. Is Drake, uh, you know, a yeah. part of that? Yeah. No, it don't yeah. make fucking sense. Drake wasn't there. Right. Jazz wasn't there. Jay Prince Sr. wasn't there. Right, right. I agree with you, brother. How the fuck? I'm responsible I for agree it. agree with you. My son in jail right now, my oldest. Mm hmm. I ain't got nothing to do with his criminal activity. Shit, Whatever he shit. did to get in jail, I ain't got nothing to do with me. I said, no snitch culture, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what is this called? When you falsely implicate, falsely like try to imprisonate people that mm -hmm. wasn't even involved with it. Mm -hmm. It's not dry snitching because it's not true. Mm -hmm. So what's that word for people that implicate people that's not there and trying to Just falsely hearsay? incriminate yeah. them? Yeah, it's hearsay, it's gossip. You know what I mean? That ain't I no think. fucking. It gotta be a, a I, harsher I, word for that. I, I don't like know snitching. I I don't know that. I, I can't say that it's snitching. You want me to tell you why? Because with how? This, I'm gonna tell you why. No, no, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because it's the internet, right? So it's the internet just regurgitating, well, you know, uh, just gossip and oh. innuendo. So what happens I mean? when you snitch? 
What you mean? When you snitch, you just snitch. No, what happens to the person you snitch on? Shit, they, they go get to jail. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So these people that they're implicating yeah. are in danger of going to jail. Yes, yeah. For so, sure, for sure. That's snitching. Yeah. If you telling on something and somebody goes to jail for it, that's snitching, but, right? But usually a snitch is telling from firsthand <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that's still snitching because you're watching the video and you're detecting it. You're doing your inspector gadget. I don't know if that's snitch. That's, that's, that's gossip. Oh, there's clout chasing going on too right now. Yeah, because you got be big, mixed up in there what too. If you got they, big what if platforms. somebody get arrested that they're saying? And they do, bro. That's what the, that's the unfortunate thing about it, bro. People start getting arrested that they're implicating. Well, this is what I'm going to say. That's what I'm it's saying. Not, it's not. Uh, yeah, what is that tricky, called? bro. It's tricky. If they get arrested, what is that called? Because if you commentating and you leave it. If they get arrested, come on, court. We no, both from the bro. street, my no, nigga. No, no, no. What is it called? No, it's, you... it's snitching if a motherfucker has direct knowledge and goes directly to law enforcement and say, hey, this motherfucker did this. It's different a types motherfucker of on, snitching, on, my and nigga. on the internet just, <laughs> just typing some shit. You know what I'm nigga. saying? That's just some irresponsible shit. If you have a platform, yeah. biggest, you know. Yes, yeah. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna say the name. Right, right, right. Biggest their platform. Yep. They the yep. biggest fucking platform. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You got a big ass platform. We had heard of somebody called Tasha K, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. She had a big ass platform. Yeah, her she ass was just spreading got sued. a narrative yep. about uh, Cardi B. Yep. Saying she had herpes, yep. that she did drugs, and yep. she was setting people up this, that, and the mm -hmm. third, like her she had first hand sued. knowledge. Yeah. She gets sued mm -hmm. for this shit for millions of dollars. Tasha K now lives in Africa, hiding <clears throat> out somewhere. But that's something. Avoid but, No, 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 no. Oh, go ahead. Let me let you. You got to be responsible for what you put out there. I agree. Now, if something happens to to the Prince family and yeah. that type of like, it, it could go to some street shit. No, they can't sue these blogs for defamation. That for you putting can. them in danger. So defam defamation and snitching two different things. I said sue. I didn't say sue for snitching. I said right. sue, sue for defamation, yeah, just like yeah, Tasha for sure. K did. For sure. So I'm saying, yeah. more of the story is you, 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 you content creators got to watch what you put out. I agree there. a thousand percent. If you're talking about street business, it is snitching, my nigga. Like the neighbor could look out the window and see somebody get yeah. shot. Yeah. And tell the police, I saw somebody get shot. Even though that neighbor ain't in the street. This is a one that go to yeah. nine to five. He's not in the street selling crack right. or whatever. He just witnessed it and told the police, hey, that's snitching. Clubhouse is super messy, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with Clubhouse either. I don't fuck and with you it. know, what you have is, like the police, law enforcement, they don't even really have to do nothing no more. They can just sit back and watch YouTube. They and don't got to do shit. To Clubhouse, you Say know? that again. So, so I think that People do, especially with platforms, they do have to be responsible, bro. You different, I'm yep. different. Joe Budden different, mm -hmm. Nori's different. We come from the game. Right. We have money exactly. already. We're exactly. not trying to get YouTube pennies and exactly. trying to milk the game for clickbait nah. and do all this nah. shit to make a living. We already made a living. We got right. residuals. You got all right. types of right. other shit you invested in. Everybody right. got shit that we make money on. We don't mm -hmm. got to do this. Exactly. So we don't got to go against the grain and say yeah. false shit and false narratives mm -hmm. to get clicks and get views and to try to get you two pins yeah, no other culture uses social media like we do go to clubhouse we the only ones on there tearing each other down threatening each other exposing each other lying on each other we the only ones that gossip and try to find the most unflattering thing to point out about somebody it's only us bro so you know, us. so we got to take responsibility. We you can't don't be hear pointing. The country singers on Clubhouse nah, going hard and nah. shit. Hey, I got the nope. best rooting tune song. Fuck you. Yeah. We coming over there. We <laughs> going to slide real. on you with the 12 exactly. gauge and light you up. <laughs> exactly. Like, you don't hear none of that shit. You don't hear the, like, old exactly. school motherfucking pop wave, new wave pop right. artists and shit. Right. Rock and roll punk right. bands and shit going at it. Grudge artists. I'm going to fuck you up with a guitar. And when I yeah. see you, I'm going to write. Like, none of that. But Real shit. this black culture, man, we hate the shit out of each other, man. We it's do, the Willie bro. Lynch shit on steroids, it bro. It's the old against the young. That's why yep. you got the old nigga, the young niggas like, you old ass nigga, you broke Real old shit. niggas. You, yep. you, that's going yep. on a lot. You got the old niggas like, oh, these wild niggas, fuck them niggas. Yep. You got the females against each other. Yep. You know what I mean? The ones that's, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, the ones that's up and the ones that's down. Oh, you broke mm -hmm. bitch, whoop, whoop, whoop. Or mm -hmm. The ones that's, you know what I mean? That ain't powerful. The mm -hmm. ones that got babies and married, you know what I mean? The ones that ain't in relationship, they going against each other. The baby mother, I mean, the mother is going against the daughter. Mm -hmm. The son is going against the father. If you see in the news right now, they can't control their kids. The kids is beating up their parents right now, beating mm -hmm. up their grandparents right now. Mm -hmm. 
So it's the Willie Lynch in full fucking effect. Whenever we see one of us accomplish something, we hate them and try to mm-hmm. bring them down. Yep. The Kanye effect, the yeah. Kyrie effect that we having right now. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody can't wait to pull somebody, pull somebody down. down bro. But niggas <clears throat> don't realize how hard it is to get to the fucking exactly. top. Because when I talk to the, the kids from the Bay, mm-hmm. when I interview S-O-B-R-B-E, um, Young T.O., yep. and I'm like, bro, like, when did it start? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because I moved from the Bay. When did y'all start really turning mm-hmm. like that? He said, Chief Keith. Mm. He said, we all seen Chief Keith, and then we came up with our crew, yeah. S-O-B-R-B-E, and yeah. we started doing the same shit they doing, talking about shit we did right. that night, and right. woo, woo, woo. And we've been rocking like that ever since. And I think that Chief Keith rephrase the 50 cent i think chief keith changed the game yeah okay and okay. i think everybody is doing some chief keith shit right now yeah yeah you know what i mean on steroids what do you think we could do to fix it to turn the tide i think um i don't want to like hate on nobody money but i don't think the record label should be promoting that shit you mm-hmm. know what i mean putting that shit on the radio mm-hmm. you know what i mean period i don't think it should be promoted you know, the more violence is promoted, you're talking about people getting drilled and killed and smoking motherfuckers on raps that died. Mm-hmm. You know, it's on the radio and in mm-hmm. the club, man. That could make somebody feel some type of way. It's yeah. like really rubbing it in their face. Yeah. It's bad enough that they people died, got right. killed. Now you got people pissing on graves and shitting videos that the companies is promoting and putting out. Yeah, yeah. I think if niggas is having street beef, man, the company shouldn't get behind it. <laughs> the root comes for, from us. Me and your generation, mm-hmm. we fumbled the fucking ball, bro. You think so? Absolutely. Because so? our OGs went to jail. You yeah. know what I mean? I got killed. The niggas that gave us the game, the niggas yeah. that had the code. Right. We, you know, became successful in other areas. We mm-hmm. didn't go back to the neighborhood. We left the neighborhood, never came back, never schooled the youth. They was there to figure the shit out by themselves. Leor yes. Cohen's, you know what I mean? Which, who was a great man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're not going to, no disrespect towards him. Mm-hmm. This is a man that's about his money. Mm-hmm. So he was asked a question on the Breakfast Club, you know what I mean? Charlemagne was like, why even put out the music that talk about sipping syrup and sipping mm-hmm. lean and doing dope and all that? He was like, you know what, Charlemagne? I have two choices, <laughs> talent or beef. I choose talent. <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah. I mean, what the hell? Like, okay, right. talent. He's like, dude. I have kids. I still have to pay bills. I have my kids are in college. Wow. Like, he, he broke it down. Yeah. Like, he really came to fruition. I still mm-hmm. have kids in college. I have to pay my bills. Right. So this is why I do it. Mm-hmm. The temperature right now is a hatred. It's a real demonic energy going around real shit. across the world. Real it's not shit. just black people. Yeah. White person will see a motherfucker dying and pull out their phone just mm-hmm. like people did on the takeoff mm-hmm. situation instead of calling the fucking police exactly. and say world star just like a black person yep. would. Yep. So. We don't, we, we're so immune right now to mm-hmm. having feelings. Like, we, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We'll see the most horrific shit and don't care. And yeah. it's all about roasting somebody, yep. clowning, hating yep. motherfuckers. That's the shit that get the Hell most yeah. views. Real the shit. The most, and then yep. drilling and yep. killing and smoking on yep. somebody and pissing on their grave. Yep. That's the move. So if you come with some positive yep. ass shit, you change the all pot, it ain't gonna fly because it's already the vibe across yep. the whole shit. Yep. Even on Twitter, even on Facebook, yep. even on like social media, that's the vibe. Shitting yep. on niggas, yep. shitting on everybody, yep. all races, not just white and black, all races, right. Mexicans, Asians, they all shitting on each other. They're all roasting Not to each the other, degree that we do though. Not to the degree that black folks do it. Go look at the Sauce Waka post. Which right. one? What he said about, I wish okay. I was with me, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how many motherfucking comments? Yeah. So you telling me now, one white person was in that in there talking, hey, man, whatever they were but saying. But people ain't listening to him. They listen to Sauce Walker. But you see I'm what talking I'm about all the comments. No, I understand the comments. So, yeah, but I'm what about I, the comments. But, but he wouldn't have shit it was to comment people going on. Hard. No, I understand. It but... was people going hard on jazz. Yeah, yeah. Like jazz right, was right, there. Right, right, All them right. comments shitting yeah, on yeah, jazz. Yeah. And he wasn't even there. No, I got it. So I boom, you had different races. That's how hard it is. Nobody right. having compassion. But they like, don't have yo. the voice though. I'm saying we have the voice and the and the influence. I and know. And we that. use it to fuck over each other. What are your thoughts on Kanye and what he said? And and you know, um, do you think what he said was hate speech or do you think he was telling the truth? And this is what the consensus of the masses are battling with. Well, the thing is, um, I don't think it was hate speech because he didn't wish no violence on mm-hmm. them. You know he called I mean? for DEFCON 3. DEFCON 3 is defense. Yeah. Yeah, so he's like, I'm prepared, you know, mm-hmm. like for whatever. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Period. That's a defensive tactic. So DEFCON 3, that's a defense. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if you really look that up, that ain't no threat. Against Kyrie, um, yeah. you think that's him being afraid to, to lose? Absolutely. 
Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Shaquille O'Neal, mm -hmm. Charles Barkley. That's afraid to lose. Mm -hmm. Period. That that they want to keep what they got. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why you know Ice Cube doing it, and not a LeBron, not a Jordan, not a mm -hmm. the dudes who making all the money in this shit. It, it takes a, a rapper to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of people are afraid. Okay, let's talk about our rap buddies. Mm -hmm. You know, where's Kanye buddies? This only Dame Daz is the only one that spoke out mm -hmm. in consequence. Mm -hmm. You know, Kanye done made a lot of people millionaires. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people, include Jay-Z, because right. he was signed to Rockefeller. He made money off all them Kanye albums that came out. Why Jay silent? Mm -hmm. If we really support our people, man, where the black balls at? Where the boycotts at? Mm -hmm. You know, if they if they say fuck Kanye, then fuck Adidas. Yeah. If they say fuck Kanye, fuck Balenciaga. Right. You know, if they say fuck Kyrie, fuck the NBA. I'm not looking at that shit this year. Right. Period. Right. I don't give a fuck about the NBA mm -hmm. because nobody, now it's it's the plantation. It. Mm -hmm. It's the shut up and dribble. We saw yeah. it with Kaepernick. Yeah. Nobody yeah. did it. Fuck nobody. it, man. Kaepernick made more money off the team, out the NFL, than he made on the NFL. Comes around, karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.